Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Antioch Bible Church on this another Lord's Day. A little bit fresh outside, but the sun is shining, which is typical of South Texas, right? But anyway, it's another good day in South Texas, and we're glad to be here. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Amen. And I trust that y'all are here because you want to be here, right? Yes. And I trust that there's more out there that should want to be here. Did I say that? Anyway, uh, maybe. let's stand and let's sing our invocation song of What a Mighty God We Serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Our first hymn this morning is number six. Number six, Come Thou Almighty King. Come thou almighty King, help us thy name to sing, help us to praise, Father of glory, or of it glorious, come and reign over us, ancient of days. Come thou incarnate word, turn on thy mighty sword, our prayer of tears. Come and thy people bless, and give thy word success, spirit of holiness, on us descend. Come, holy comfort, turn thy sacred witness bear in this glad hour. Thou who almighty art, now rule in every heart, and there from us depart, spirit of power. To the great one in three, eternal praises be, it's evermore, his sovereign majesty, may we in glory see, and to eternity love and Adore. Our Father and our God, it is a privilege, truly a privilege, Lord, to come to your house. A time that has been set apart every week, Lord, to come and join with other believers in adoration and praise and thanksgiving. Amen. Father, for what great things you have done for us. Father, we're so thankful for the health that we have. It may not be as good as it was 40 years ago. And Father, there's a lot of health problems going around with the, with the COVID, uh, with cancer, uh, with uh, some with diabetes and uh, heart problems and breathing problems. We just pray, Father, that you be mindful of each and every one, Father. And take those who are hurting by the hand and lead these living lead them through these tough times we father that we pray simply for a restoration of health to those who are ill and for strengthening especially of the spirit and now father we thank you that our people in uniform are guarding our freedoms guarding our safety the ones here at home, the ones abroad, we pray, Father, that you would bless them wherever they're at, whatever part of the world. Uh, bless their families because, Lord, a lot of folks are separated from their families for long periods of time. 
And we pray, Lord, that you might be an encouragement to them as they guard our country. And Father, we pray for the ones who are holding forth the word of life this morning as they share Christ in all the corners of the earth. We pray, Father, that the word might have its desired result in their lives. And Father, a special moment of prayer for those who went through such a terrible trauma yesterday with that hostage thing up there in, uh, at, at that synagogue up, uh, I guess it's north of Fort Worth. We thank you, Father, that, that it came down well, that only the uh, perpetrator was was killed. Uh, everybody else came out uninjured. And we just thank you, Lord, for that. And we pray, Lord, you might continue to protect us from these radicals that seem to think that it was good to kill people that don't agree with them. Lord, we continue looking forward to you for our protection because you are the captain of the Lord's host and you are our great protector. And we thank you, Lord, for that. Now, Lord, we'd ask for your blessings upon this time and pray, Lord, that you might give us ears to hear what the Spirit has to say to us this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Good morning, everybody. Don't forget to deliver your letters because Joyce is here. I forgot to mention... Uh, Steve and, and uh, Karita are in Finland. Uh, her mother died on Tuesday or Monday? Monday. It was Tuesday. And anyway, her mother passed away. She had a stroke and passed away. And Steve and Karita uh, have flown over there to be with the, with the family. So continue praying for them. And uh, there's just lots of things that's going on. And so... If you don't have anything to pray about, we'll remind you of a few of them, all right? And uh, if you can't think of anything else, you can pray for me. That always works. <laughs> and I've gotten lots of those in the last uh, in the last years, and I thank you very much for that. Yes, ma'am. Oh, all right. So they had to be in quarantine for how many days? Five days, okay. Well, that's the law, right? <laughs> we won't go into stupid laws, all right? Because we got enough of those. <laughs> you, you're welcome to say it because I'm in agreement with you. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. So y'all continue praying for them, and um, and those and and th those of you who don't know, Mela has come down with the COVID, and uh, so she and and Juan are home observing the quarantine, and um, they continue praying for them, and for others who still need uh, healing and restoration. And I think about poor old Tom Hoy; he's had it for over two years now, right? It's gone. Oh, he's still yeah. He's yeah. Yeah. Now he's trying to recover from the doctors, right? Is that it? He's trying to recover from what the doctors have done? I, I feel that way sometimes. I feel like that sometimes what the doctors put me through might be worse than what the original problem was. But the medications, you know, until they get those things right, the medications can really take you down sometimes. But, uh, My doctor called me and he says, do you need anything? Do you need any medications? No, I don't do drugs. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> you said it was against the law, right? <laughs> he kind of laughed, but my doctor, doctor, not his sister. I guess they're hurting for money. Uh, oh, you know, I, I was just thinking the other day. When I was growing up, if you broke your leg, you went to the doctor. If you got sick, you went to the doctor. If anything happened, you went to the doctor. The same old doctor that you gave a chicken to because you didn't have $2. How many of you remember a two dollar office call? No, five. I four or five dollars. <laughs> well, it was two. I can remember the two dollar ones, and uh, and nowadays you go to the doctor. 
He sends you this special. He sends you that special. And you know, first thing you know, you've got five doctors that are dependent upon you. Can I come claim those on my income tax? <laughs> No, he doesn't. <laughs> and uh, and one of my specialists don't go to the hospital anymore. So, you know, well, he's in a wheelchair. I don't hardly blame him for that, but he's still a good heart doctor. But, uh, you know, it's times have changed. I'm not sure always for the better. Seems like hmm? We're living too long. Oh, you know, that's probably be right. When they started Social Security, not too many people ever collected it. Because most people, when I was growing up, died by the time they were 65 years old. Now, I can remember as a seventh grader thinking, you know, I hope I live long enough to see the turn of the century. Because the turn of the century came before I turned 65. And uh, no, yeah, I, before I turned, but, but it would not have been unusual for me to have passed on before the turn of the century. And so here I've gone 22 years, plus 22 years. Doctor says I'm good for another 13 yet. They told me I was good for 15 years. That was two years ago. So you're going to put up me another 13 years. Yay. <laughs> was that kind of a weak yay? <laughs> huh? No, it started at 65. Uh, now, you got... You, at, at 55, you became a senior citizen, but the Social Security didn't start. But then they changed it. They started at 62 and a half. And uh, so I, I didn't think I was going to live this long, so I started taking mine at 62 and a half because I want to make sure I collect them. Oh, is that it? Okay. Well, I'm not... I don't understand all those things. Don't understand them. Okay, uh, no birthdays or any celebrations? Now tonight, and by the way, we have a Spanish service at 9.30 on Sunday morning. Okay? And it's it's all singing in Spanish, preaching in Spanish, praying in Spanish. Uh, you can say amen in Spanish. Can't you? <laughs> that that's one of those universal words that works in, in a, you know what one word is supposed to work anywhere in the world is the universal language. Hallelujah. 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 Around the world supposed to be in the same every language, the same word. Right. Okay. Um we have a service tonight at six six o'clock. I'll be finishing up Philemon. Uh, it's in English. And then we have a Bible study on Tuesday night. It'd be 1 John chapter 5. We have a prayer service on Wednesday night. Uh, folks, we can always use more people to pray. And so uh, if you want to come out and pray with us, we'd be glad to have you. And there's, last time I checked, there's been plenty of seats over there. So, and um, so that's on, that's 7 o'clock on Wednesday night. Okay. All right. Yes. Well, they, they, well, we haven't been Zooming Sunday night because nobody's been hooking on to it. <laughs> but nobody coming in on, on Sunday night. Now they we come in on Tuesday night. But anyway, if somebody wants to come in on Sunday night, we'll zoom it on Sunday night as well. Okay, our next song is number 17. Uh Come Thou Found of Every Blessing. Better stand. Come thy found of every blessing, to my heart to sing the praise. Words of mercy never ceasing, call for songs of loudest praise. Peace be so melodious sounding, sung by flaming tongues above. Grace of mount I fixed upon it. Mount of thy redeeming love. Here I praise my Ebenezer, hither by the help I come. And I hope I, like the pleasure, safely to a 
drive at home. Jesus sought me when a stranger wandering from the fold of God. He to rescue me from danger interposed his precious blood. Oh, to grace how great a debtor daily I'm constrained to be. Let thy goodness like a better bind my wandering heart to thee. Prone to wander, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. Here's my heart, oh, take and seal it. Seal it for thy courts above. Manuel, por favor, vini para recoger la ofrenda. Manuel really understands English, but quiere orar en español or English. Ah, español está bien. Okay. <laughs> señor, gracias, señor. Te damos por la vida, la salud que nos prestas a cada uno de nosotros, señor. En este día te damos gracias por estar, por permitirnos estar aquí en tu casa, señor, para alabar y glorificar tu santo nombre, señor, con libertad, señor, ya que hay, hay países, señor, que no lo pueden hacer, señor. Ahora te pido, Señor, por esta ofrenda que, que va a ser recogida, Señor, te pido que seas con el que pueda hacerlo, Señor, y, y de igual manera con el que no lo pueda hacer, Señor. Te pedimos por toda la congregación, congregación, Señor, y por todos los hermanos que están enfermos de COVID, Señor, o cualquier otra enfermedad, que tú los, los toques con tu mano santa, Señor, para que los sanes y podamos verlos otra vez aquí, reunidos aquí en tu casa, Señor. En nombre de Cristo Jesús. Amén. Amén. Thank you, sir. continuing on our our theme of uh, God's intervention in the life of men and of course you see a, a lot of that uh, sometimes we fail to realize sometimes exactly what it is but we're trying to clarify the fact that no man has seen God at any time the son who's in the bosom of the father hath declared him It tells us in John chapter one. And remember that no one's seen God. So obviously somebody else is standing in for him in those appearances in the Old Testament. And that would be Jesus Christ. And uh, so we're trying to point out the fact that Jesus is very, very available in the Old Testament. Okay. And is very, very active. So. Anyway, if you, I ask a question on my trivia here. Uh, how many dreams can you remember where God intervened, intervened in man's affairs? Now, I'm looking specifically for dreams. We have dreams and visions and other things, but I'm looking specifically for people who had dreams that God gave them about something. Who? Pharaoh. 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 Jacob. Jacob. Joseph, Abraham, Nebuchadnezzar. Listen, I found out there's a whole lot more of them there when I was researching than I thought. Uh, all right, all right, uh, Abimelech. Abimelech. By the way, that's the first one that God appeared to in a dream was to Abimelech. And uh, But anyway, there was a a, a, a lot of these dreams and the baker and the butler, they had these dreams and these are dreams from God and they had a meaning. Now, I don't put a whole lot of stock in the dreams I have. 
anymore. I, I, I don't think they're very prophetic. So I, I don't go around looking for an interpreter for my dreams. But uh, sometimes they're, they're quite interested. And my wife and I get a big chuckle out of telling each other the weird dreams we have sometimes. And, uh, but we won't share those with you. Okay, let's, please stand with me. We'll read this passage of scripture from Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heavens, and his serving unto the end of it, and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. That last verse is really a neat verse. I, I skipped a couple there, but I wanted to get that last verse in there because uh, we should pray that frequently. Yeah. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable and pleasing to you, O God. And uh, uh, we, we pray that when we, when we teach and when we uh, preach or whatever, but we need to think about our words that we speak at other times when we're not in church. Yeah. All right. Okay, our, our last our third song is number uh thirty-two, I believe. Blessed be the name. All praise to him who reigns above in majesty supreme. Who gave his son for man to die, that he might man redeem? Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. His name above all names shall stand, exalted more and more. At God the Father's own right hand, where angels hold the door. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Redeemer, save your friend of man, once ruined by the fall. Thou hast divine salvation's plan, for thou hast died for all. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. His name shall be the counselor, 
the mighty Prince of Peace, of all earth's kingdoms, conqueror, whose reign shall never cease. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, and please be seated. Let's pray. Lord, we do thank you for this time, for such a, a beautiful day, Lord, that we can be here and have the freedom to do as we please, and that we can be here this morning to listen to your word. Lord, thank you for all the blessings you give us every single day that um, we don't even realize that all good things come from above. Lord, we thank you for this time, and I pray for Chad as he ministers to us, Lord. I always pray that your word fall on fertile ground. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I take it I stay. I take it you stay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've kind of gotten custom having one interpret for me. So it's good to have Ishmael back. It's been a while since you interpreted for me. No, that's not too long ago. Oh, not too long ago. Long ago. Okay. All right. Ah. <laughs> uh, the verses we're going to use, I have them for you there. Okay. Each verse in English and in Spanish. Okay. English and Spanish. Good. All right. That makes it easier than trying to look them all up. Yeah, you better believe it. And uh, anyway, we want to look at several things about God's revelations in the Old Testament. Queremos ver varias cosas de la revelación de Dios en el Viejo Testamento. Because he revealed himself in dreams. Porque se reveló en sueños. In visions. En visiones. He came and spoke to people directly. Vino y habló con personas directamente. It seemed like sometimes he spoke to them, but he wasn't there in presence. Muchas veces habló con ellos, pero no estaba ahí en presencia. And then we go, go over to books like Ezekiel and, and Jeremiah. Y si vamos a los libros de Ezequiel y Jeremías. And some of the other minor prophets. Y otros uh, profetas menores. It says, and the word of the Lord came unto me saying. Dice, la palabra del Señor vino a mí y dijo. Now we don't know how it came unto them. No sabemos cómo vino a ellos. Maybe it was the Holy Spirit bringing it to them. El amor fue el Espíritu Santo que se lo estaba trayendo. And and put the words in their mouth. Y les puso las palabras en en la boca. But it just says the word of the Lord came unto me. Pero dice que la palabra de Dios vino hacia mí. And we're going to look at some verses this morning. Y vamos a ver unos versículos esta mañana. And I'm going to try to give you time to look them up. Y quiero darles tiempo para que ustedes lo busquen. Because we, we want to see some of these events in the Bible. Porque quiero que miren estos eventos en la Biblia. But I need to tell you, we're not going to begin to touch on all of them that are there. Pero quiero comenzar, quiero decirles que no vamos a comenzar ni a tocarte todos los que están ahí. I've tried to pick out some of the ones that are a little bit more notable. Yo saqué unos que pienso yo que eran más notables. I want to remind you again of John chapter 1, verse 18. Quiero recordarles también de Juan 1, 18. It says, no man has seen God in any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared him. Dice, I, dice a Dios, nadie ha, he visto jamás el ogénito hijo que está en el seno del Padre. Él le declaró. We understand, nosotros entendemos o comprendemos, at least most of us do, bueno, la mayoría de nosotros, that Jesus existed long before he was born of the Virgin Mary. Que Jesús existía mucho antes de la Virgen María. Jesus is eternal. Jesús es eterno. His body was not. El cuerpo de él no era. His body came 2,000 years ago. Su cuerpo vino hace 2,000 años. But Jesus has always been here. Pero Jesús siempre ha estado aquí. It tells in the New Testament Nos dice el Nuevo Testamento, that he's the creator of the world. Que él es el creador del mundo. Although the Old Testament says that God was. Aunque el Viejo Testamento dice que Dios fue. Back there, I can show you four really clear places where it says it in the New Testament. El hecho es que yo les puedo enseñar cuatro lugares donde dice bien claramente que Jesús es el creador. 
And then when we remember that Jesus is the one who declares the Father, y si recordamos que Jesús es el que declara el Padre, then we can see why God used Jesus to do these things. Y nosotros podemos ver entonces por qué Dios usa a Jesús para hacer esto. Even though it was a long time before he was born. Aunque fue mucho tiempo antes de que nació. Again, we have to understand that Jesus is eternal. Otra vez, yeah. quiero que sepan que Jesús es eterno. In Genesis chapter 20, verse 3, in Genesis 23, we find our first example of God appearing to somebody in a dream. Miramos el primer ejemplo donde Dios aparece a alguien en un sueño. And it's interesting enough y es interesante that this was to a, a heathen king. Que este era un rey que no era salvo. But I, I kind of like it. I think it's kind of interesting. Pero me gusta y se me hace que es interesante. Because Abraham had gone down to uh, Gear, which is in the land of the Philistines. Porque Abraham había ido a la tierra de, de los filistinos. And he was afraid for his life. Y él temía por su vida. Because his 90-year-old wife was absolutely beautiful. Porque su esposa de 90 años era bien bella. So much so that any king would love to have her in his harem. Tanto así que cualquier rey la, la quería tener para su harem. I think that's pretty amazing. Eso es algo maravilloso. I mean, when I first read that, yo me acuerdo la primera vez que lo leí. I thought, a 90-year-old woman? Yo pensé, una mujer de 90 años? And a 30-year-old king wants her? You know, you know, rey de 30 años la quiere? Boy, that was a some woman, right? <laughs> Eso tenía que haber sido una mujer. Anyway, the verse is this. Chapter el, 20, verse 3. El versículo es este, Génesis 23. But God came to Abimelech in a dream by night and said to him, Behold, thou art but a dead man for the woman which thou hast taken, for she is a man's wife. Dice, Empero Dios vino a Abimelech en sueños de noche y le dijo, He aquí muerto eres a causa de la mujer que has tomado, la cual es casada con marido. Would only God do the same thing for everyone that wanted to cheat on his wife? Dice, fuera bueno que Dios hiciera todo esto para a todo hombre que quisiera... A engañar a su mujer. Thou art but a dead man. Y eres un hombre muerto. It might make people help remember their vows a little bit better. A lo mejor los hacía que se recordaran las promesas que hicieron. The next one I want to look at. La otra cosa, la otra que quiero ver. Is in the life of Jacob. Y es en la vida de Jacob. And this is one of those strange passages. Y este es un pasaje extraño. That, that I really can't understand. Que yo no puedo comprender. Because I studied. Uh, Genetics in in college. Porque he estudiado el genético. Se, se me hace que así se dice en el colegio. And and this dream and these what happened just doesn't make sense. Y este sueño para mí no con no no concuerda. But I've learned one thing about God. Pero he aprendido una cosa de Dios. That He doesn't have to make sense to us. Que él no 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 lo tenemos que entender. Anyway, this is Genesis chapter thirty one verse ten. Genesis thirty one diez. I forgot to announce the verse in time for y'all to look it up. Se me olvidó anunciar el versículo con tiempo para que lo buscaran. And it came to pass at the time that the cattle conceived that I lifted up mine eyes and saw in a dream and behold the rams which leased upon the cattle were reinstaked, speckled, and grizzled. Y sucedió que al tiempo que las ovejas se recalentaban al ser, al ser los ojos y vi un en sueño y he aquí los machos que cubrían a las hembras eran listados, pintados y abrigados. Remember, Jacob had, had gone up to his father-in-law in Haran. Recuerdan que Jacob había ido con su suegro en Arán. Well, he wasn't his father-in-law when he got there. Bueno, no era su suegro cuando había llegado allí. But he went up there and he promised he'd work seven years for his daughter Rachel. Y llegó allí y prometió que iba a trabajar siete años por su hija Raquel. And the father-in-law gave him Leah instead. Y el suegro le dio a Leah al lugar de ella. And so he offered to work another seven years for Rachel. Y se ofreció trabajar siete años más para Raquel. And then after these 14 years were finished, y después de estos 14 años bien terminado, he realized I've herded sheep for my father-in-law for 14 years. Reconoció que había cuidado ovejas por 14 años. And I still don't have nothing. Y todavía no tengo nada. So he and his father-in-law made a little deal. Así que hicieron una, un acuerdo. Now, his father-in-law is a master of deception. Él era un maestro de excepción, el suegro. And uh, so anyway, the deal was that 
the father-in-law get got kept all the white sheep. El trato era que el suegro se iba a quedar con todas las ovejas blancas. And if any of them came out off colored or something, si, Jacob got them. Si una salían de diferente color o rayadas, Jacobo se iba a quedar con ellas. Now this obviously was a whole herd of white sheep. Obviamente las mayorías eran blancas. So Jacob's chances of getting anything were pretty slim. Así que la, la oh, este Jacob even probablemente no iba a, a recibir mucho. But then he had this dream. Pero tuvo este sueño. And in this dream, God showed him that they, there's going to be some off-colored sheep there. Y en este sueño, Dios le enseñó que iba a haber ovejas de, o sea, que no eran blancas de otro color. And then he goes around driving stakes out by the water and feeding troughs. Y él mete, pone pedazos de, de ramas en, en el bebedero. I don't know how that works. Dice, yo no sé cómo trabaja esto. But it didn't come out in my genetics that way. Pero no, no salió, <laughs> el genético no salía así. But anyway, so they started having all these off-colored sheep. Y comenzaron a tener todas estas ovejas de diferentes colores. And Laban says, hey, this is not working out right. Y Laban dijo, esto no está trabajando bien. And so he says, you take the white sheep and I'll take the off-colored ones. Y le dijo al revés, dijo, tú agarras las blancas y yo voy a agarrar las que son pintas. So what happened now? ¿Qué pasa ahora? Started having white sheep. Comienzan a tener ovejas blancas. You see, Laban hadn't learned yet that you can't argue with God. Laban todavía no sabía que no puedes... ¿Cómo? Discutir con Dios. Okay. Ah, let's, let's go to the next one. Vamos al siguiente versículo. Now, Joseph, who was Jacob's son. Es Génesis 37.5. José, que era yeah. el hijo de, de Jacob. Thank you for reminding us of the verse. Yeah, Genesis 37.5, all right. <laughs> Yeah, it's still in Genesis. It's 37, 5. Uh, Joseph is the spoiled kid. José era un niño chiflado. He's daddy's favorite. Era el favorito de su papá. And unfortunately, desafortunadamente, the, the other 10 brothers didn't like this. Los otros 10 hermanos no, no les gustaba esto. Because Jacob made no bones about it that Joseph was his favorite. Jacob no nos escondía esto. So Joseph has this dream. Y José tiene este sueño. And here's what he says. Y esto es lo que dice. And Joseph dreamed a dream and he told it to his brethren and they hated him for it. Y soñó José un sueño y contólo, así se nos contólo, contólo a sus hermanos y ellos vinieron aborrecerle más todavía. Now, if you, if you remember the dream, si recuerdan el sueño, they were out in the field harvesting. Estaban en el field cosechando. And they put their wheat in a stock and wrapped a, a binder around it. O sea, pusían su, su trigo en, 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 para contenerlo. So each one of the boys had their sheaves of wheat y, tied up there. Y lo amarraban y cada, cada hermano tenía su montón. But all of the sheaves of the ten brothers pero todos los, los montones de los diez hermanos bowed down to Joseph's uh, sheaves of wheat. Se doblaron así a la, al, al montón que tenía José. O well, sea, se, se postraron. And, and that wasn't enough. Pero este no era suficiente. Because then Joseph had another dream. Porque José tuvo otro sueño. And this dream, y en, he, este, y en este sueño, He dreamed that the sun, the moon, and the stars bowed down to him. El sueño que el sol, la luna y las estrellas se postraron hacia él. And he told them his dream too. Y también les dijo este sueño. And boy, they were really mad. Así que tenían tan bien enojados. They were so mad they decided to kill him. Tenían tanto uh, ira que decidieron uh, matarlo. They didn't want to bow down to him. They o, wanted to kill him. O sea, no se querían postrar a él, querían matarlo. Well, he didn't know the story. Si saben la historia. They didn't kill him. No lo mataron. They threw him in a pit. Lo echaron en un pozo. And then eventually sold him as a slave. Y lo vendieron como un esclavo. And they hauled him down to Egypt, but he became a slave down y, there. Y se llevaron a Egipto y allá siguió siendo esclavo. And hopefully you know the rest of the story about Joseph. Ojalá sepan la, toda la historia de José. And, and I just read that story. Y yo nomás la, la acabo de leer. When those brothers finally realized cuando los hermanos Joseph's dreams come true. Cuando reconocieron que los los hermanos que los sueños de José uh, er, eran verdad. Because when the brothers se, went to Egypt to buy food, se cumplieron. 
cuando los hermanos fueron a Egipto a comprar comida. They didn't recognize the man they were buying the food from. No reconocieron al hombre al que le estaban comprando la comida. It was his little brother they had sold as a slave. Era el hermano pequeño que habían vendido como esclavo. He had become the number two man in era, Egypt. Era el número dos hombre en Egipto. And he was the one that was going to sell them the food. Y él era el que les iba a vender la comida. And they came in and bowed before him. Vinieron y se postraron así en frente de él. And then eventually they were put this dream and this action together. Eventualmente pues, uh, pues hicieron todo junto. Uh, el sueño con los eventos. Let's look at it. In Genesis chapter 41, 15. In Genesis 41, 15. We have the, the, the dream of Pharaoh. Tenemos el, uh, el sueño de Faraón. Now I've, I've skipped over the dreams of the butler and baker. Yo uh, <coughs> sobrepasé unos sueños de la... Del, del que hacía la comida y el, y el los proban el, el, el vino y la comida. Okay, because we weren't going to have time for all of them. Porque no íbamos a tener tiempo. In Genesis 41:15, en 41:15, and Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I have dreamed a dream, and there is none that can interpret it. And I have heard say of thee that thou canest understand a dream to interpret it. Y dijo Faraón a José, yo he tenido un sueño y no hay quien lo declare. Mas he oído decir de ti que oyes sueños para declararlos. Now you remember the dream. ¿Usted recuerda los sueños? There's actually two of them. Era, eran actualmente dos. The dream of the cows coming out of the river. Eran de las uh, vacas que habían salido del río. Beautiful cows. Vacas hermosas. And then seven more cows came out of the river. Y salieron siete más vacas. Ugly cows. Pero estaban muy feas. Yeah. And the ugly cows ate the seven good cows. Y las comidas, vacas feas, se comieron las vacas buen, uh, buenas. I don't mind telling you a dream like that would disturb me too. No te quiero, te quiero decir que un sueño así también me disturbe a mí. I've worked with cows for a lot of years. Yo he trabajado con vacas por muchos años. And I've never seen one cow eat another one. Y yo nunca he visto que una vaca se coma otra. Anyway, that, <laughs> that's the dream. Pero este es el sueño. And he had another dream. Y tuvo otro sueño. That there were seven shocks of wheat or seven, excuse me, seven stalks, stalks of wheat. Había siete mazorcas de maíz. Beautiful wheat. Hermosas. Así se dice mazorca, ¿no? And then there were seven stalks of ugly wheat. Y había siete mazorcas de, 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 de maíz que es, es trigo. And anyway, the ugly ones consumed the good ones. Las feas se consumieron a las buenas. And so Joseph interpreted the dream. Y José interpretó, le, le dio interpretación al sueño. Of, of seven good years of plenty. De que iba a haber siete años de, de abundancia. And seven years of, of uh, famine. Que iba a haber siete años de hambre. And this set the stage. Y esto puso. It made preparation for. Hizo, hizo preparaciones. For the brothers coming to Egypt to buy food. Para que los hermanos vinieran a Egipto a comprar comida. Because they were hungry. Porque tenían hambre. And when they got there, they found out that uh, this guy selling the food was not being very nice to them. Y cuando llegaron allí, se dieron cuenta que el hombre que estaba vendiendo la comida tenía un mal carácter. Remember, Joseph knew them. José sabía quién eran ellos. But they didn't know him. Pero ellos no lo conocían a él. Because he looked like an Egyptian. Porque él parecía que era, él era un Egipto. But he recognized them as they always were. Pero él los reconoció como han sido siempre. The fact is, he spoke to them in Egyptian. El hecho es que él les habló en Egipto. Rather than Hebrew. En lugar del Hebreo. And they had to use an interpreter. Y tenían que usar un intérprete. And so that just kept these boys in the, in the dark about who Así Joseph que, really was. Ellos estaban en lo oscuro a quién era José. I have another one I want to share with you. Tengo otro que quiero compartir. And this is in Daniel chapter 2, verse 3. In Daniel chapter 2, verse 3. It, it's really interesting that God gave dreams to these powerful rulers of countries. Es interesante que Dios le dio sueños a estos hombres poderosos de países. Pharaoh, who was a, a, the ruler of the world at that time. Faraón, que era el que reinaba el mundo en este tiempo. And then now he comes around to Nebuchadnezzar, Ahora viene Nebuchadnezzar, who at the time was the ruler of the world. And unsaved. Y no era, él no era salvo. Somebody once told me that God doesn't deal with unsaved people. Una vez alguien me dijo que Dios no trabaja con personas que no son salvas. Or he doesn't use them. Que no los usan. But here God has spoken to these 
unsaved people. Pero aquí Dios ha hablado con estas personas que no lo conocen, que no son salvos. In dreams to work his will. En sueños para trabajar su voluntad. Now the good news is, la buena noticia es, if you study the life of Nebuchadnezzar, que si estudias tú la vida de este hombre, he might not have been a believer when he saw this dream. No era un creyente cuando miró este sueño. Because he had two dreams, right? Porque tuvo dos sueños. The first dream was was about uh a tall image. El primero era de una imagen que era bastante alto. The second dream was about a tree. El segundo era de un árbol. And after the second dream, y después del segundo sueño, he became a believer. Él se hizo creyente. When he realized how powerful God was, cuando reconoció que tan poderoso Dios es. I like to think about old Nebuchadnezzar. Quiero yo pensar de Nebuchadnezzar. You know, I, I remember him from oral history. Yo me, me acuerdo de ver, lo, verlo estudiado en la escuela. And then I was surprised when I was reading my Bible through for the first time. Y estaba sorprendido cuando estaba leyendo la Biblia por la primera vez. Because he was old Nebuchadnezzar in my Bible. Porque ahí lo miró que, que, que estaba en la Biblia. One of the greatest kings in the world. Uno de los reyes más grandes del mundo. But anyway, Nebuchadnezzar got put out to pasture for seven years. Y este lo pusieron para la que anduviera en el pasto por siete años. But why did I say pasture? ¿Por qué digo esto? Because he ate grass for seven years. Porque él comió zacate por siete años. Here's the mightiest man in the world. Era el hombre más poderoso del mundo. Eating grass for seven years. Comiendo zacate por siete años. God got through to him. Dios por fin le penetró. I could think of some other leaders I'd like to see put out the pasture. También yo quisiera ver de otros líderes que los sacaron así al pasto. We even give them some hay what we're mamando. Hasta también le diéramos uh, como alfalfa. No, no, not alfalfa grass. Es sacate. <laughs> alfalfa is too good. So what, what, what's hay in Spanish? Sacate. Sacate? Yeah. Right? No, what's grass? Uh, any what's kind. Well, it, for, uh, it covers all of them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the, it says in Daniel chapter 2, verse 3. Daniel 2, 3. And the king said to them, I have dreamed a dream, and my spirit was troubled to know the dream. Y el rey les dijo, he soñado un sueño, y mi espíritu se ha pervertido por saber del sueño. Now I'm going to switch from the dreams. Ahora quiero cambiar de sueños. And run a few on visions. Y quiero decirles un poquito de visiones. Uh, I want to point out something to you. Quiero traer a punto algo a ustedes. And I'm going to use scripture to do it. Y voy a usar las escrituras. And that's it. In Numbers chapter 12, verse 6. En Números 12, 6. Numbers 12, verse 6. 12, capítulo 12, versículo 6. Numbers is just before... Deuteronomy, número está después de Deuteronomio, and just after Leviticus, y antes de Levítico. And if you can't find those, look in the index. Y si no lo hayas, pues fíjate en las últimas páginas de la Biblia. Numbers 12, verse 6, 12, 6. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. Dice, oye mis palabras, y si hay un profeta sobre ustedes, yo, el, yo, el, el Señor, me haré saber hacia él en visión y hablaré con él en un sueño. And so here we see dreams and visions are interchangeable. Vemos que las visiones y los sueños son, se intercambian. In both ways, it's God through Jesus Christ manifested himself unto certain people. De, dos, de las dos maneras es Jesucristo manifestándose. Uh, personas en diferentes maneras. It, it puts them together again in Job. Los pone juntos otra vez en el libro de Job. Chapter 33, verse 15. 33, versículo 15. Job 33, 15. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed. Dicen sueños, dicen visión de noche, dice cuando el sueño cae así sobre los hombres uh, les, les trae esta visión de sueños en, en la cama there is a slight difference in a dream and a vision hay poquito diferencia en estos dos and we find this out from studying Balaam y lo vemos en esto en estudiando a, Bala, a Balaam Balaam who also had dreams Balaam también tuvo sueños and visions y visiones 
And Balaam tells us something. Y Balaam nos dice algo. He says, I have the I, I had my eyes open when I saw the vision. Uno dice, dijo una vez que él tenía los ojos abiertos cuando miró la visión. What are your eyes when you see a dream? Tus ojos cómo están cuando sueñas? They're closed. So the difference in a vision and a dream is when your eyes are open and when they're closed. La diferencia es cuando uno está despierto y otro está dormido. Bueno, dijo ojos abiertos y ojos cerrados. They what? <laughs> Oh, yes. Yeah, well, don't. Hey, listen. What can we do without Balaam's donkey? Dice, ¿qué podemos hacer sin el burro de Balaam? Porque dice, el burro también habló. Sí. You know what I like about that story? ¿Saben qué me gusta de esta historia? God said to Balaam. Dios le dijo a Balaam. I think I'm going to save the donkey and I'm going to kill you. Dijo, dijo, voy a salvar al burro y a ti te voy a matar. So that gave Balaam an idea of what he was worth. Así le dio una idea a Balaam que era el valor de de su persona. Okay, let's let's look at uh, what it is. Mother verse is now here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, in, in Genesis chapter 15, verse 1. In Genesis 15, 1. Genesis 15, verse 1. You have that on another sheet. Yes, sir, I do. See, I got all your homework done for you. Okay. This is to Abraham. This is Abraham. Now, Abraham had just taken his household servants. Abraham se acaba de llevar los siervos de su casa. Well, I say household. All of his servants, which included his sheep herders. He must have been a pretty wealthy man. Because he had 318 servants. Porque tenía 318 siervos. Okay. And he took them and they went up and they caught these kings. Five of them. Cinco de ellos. With their armies, con sus ejércitos, and with his little army, y con el ejército pequeño de él, and a lot of help from God, y bastante ayuda de Dios, he defeated those kings, los, derr los derrotó, and rescued his nephew, y se trajo para atrás a su a su sobrino. But it would seem that after this, pero después de esto, even after he had met a man named Melchizedek, aún después que había encontraba este hombre llamado Melquisedec. He was kind of concerned. Él estaba poco preocupado. That these five kings from Mesopotamia, que esos cinco reyes, might come back after him. Podían regresar así a, a perseguirlo. And so God appears to him. Y Dios se aparece a él. In a vision. En una visión. In in chapter 15, verse 1. En Génesis 15, 1. After these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision. Saying, "Fear not, Abraham. I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward." Dice, después de estas cosas fue la palabra de Jehová Abraham en visión diciendo, "No temas, Abraham. Yo soy tu escudo y tu galardón sobre manera grande." So what's God telling Abraham here? ¿Qué le está diciendo a, a Dios Abraham aquí? I'm going to protect you. Yo te voy a proteger. And I'm going to Prosper you. Y yo te voy a prosperar. I'd like to have a vision like that. Él quisiera tener una visión así. Hey, by the way, has God spoken to any of you in a dream or a vision? Dios les ha hablado a ustedes en, una, en un sueño o en una visión. He doesn't have to. No tiene que. God can tell you everything you need to know. Dios te, te puede decir todo lo que necesitas que saber. And this is why we don't have dreams and visions anymore. Y por esto no tenemos visiones y sueños. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, but anyway, God shows you everything you didn't know. De cualquier manera, manera Dios te ha enseñado todo lo que necesitas que saber. From Scripture. Por las escrituras. So you don't need a vision or a dream. Así que no necesitas visión. All you do is read your Bible. Todo lo que tienes que hacer es leer tu Biblia. Okay, let's say who else had a, a vision from God. ¿Quién más tuvo visión de Dios? In First Samuel chapter three, verse fifteen. Primera Samuel tres quince. And of course, this is a story about a little boy named what? Yes, and the story of a niño llamado qué? Oh, Samuel. Okay, Samuel. All right, Samuel. In First Samuel chapter three, verse fifteen. 
Samuel's mother had had trouble having a baby. La mamá de Samuel había tenido uh, problemas en, en concebir. And she promised God, y ella le prometió a Dios, if you will give me a child, si tú me das un niño, I will give him back to you. Yo te lo daré para atrás a ti. And so she did. She had a little boy. Y ella tuvo un niño. Named him Samuel. Lo llamó Samuel. And when she had weaned him, y ya cuando lo, lo había criado, which was probably about the age of two years, probablemente la edad de dos años, she took him to the priest, se lo llevó al sacerdote, at the tabernacle, en el tabernáculo, and she says, I've come to give my child to God. Y dijo, ha venido a dar mi niño a Dios. Now, Eli's already got two sons. El, uh, el sacerdote Eli ya tenía dos hijos. But they were both very bad. Pero los dos eran malos. So it's time he finally got a good one. Este era tiempo que ya hubiera agarrado uno bueno. And so Eli took this son. Y Eli tomó este niño. And was raising him there in the, the tabernacle. Y lo estaba criando ahí en el tabernáculo. And anyway, one night, y una noche, God spoke to Samuel in a vision. Dios habló con Samuel en una visión. Samuel, Samuel. Dijo Samuel, Samuel. And he jumped up and ran into Eli's bed. Y él brinca y corre hacia la, a la cama de Eli. And says, here I am. Y le dijo, aquí estoy. Eli says, I didn't call you. Y Eli le dijo, yo no te amé. So, Samuel goes back to bed. Así que Samuel se vuelve a acostar. And again, y otra vez, the voice of God, la voz de Dios. Eli, I mean Samuel, Samuel. Y Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel runs back to Eli again. Y Samuel corre hacia Eli otra vez. Here I am. Y le dice, aquí estoy. And Eli says, I didn't call you. Y Eli le dice, yo no te llamé. He says, but I have a suspicion. Dijo, pero tengo una suspicion. He says, I think maybe God is calling you. Se me hace que Dios te está llamando. And he says, so the next time, just tell him you're listening. Dice, a la otra vez, nomás dile que estás escuchando. And so here we have this verse. Y aquí tenemos este versículo. In chapter 3, verse 15. En 3, 15, primero Samuel. And Samuel lay until the morning and opened the doors of the house of the Lord. And Samuel feared to show Eli the vision. Dice, Samuel estuvo acostado hasta la mañana y abrió las puertas de la casa de Jehová. Y Samuel temía descubrir la visión a Eli. Samuel knew that Eli was going to ask him, what did God say to you last Samuel night? Samuel sabía que Eli le iba a decir, ¿qué fue lo que te dijo Dios anoche? And what God told Samuel, y lo que Dios le dijo Samuel, was, I'm going to deal with Eli, dijo, yo voy a tratar con Eli, and with his sons. Y con sus hijos. Now, I get the impression that Eli was probably more or less all right. Yo tengo la impresión que, que Eli está más o menos bien. But he tolerated the terrible behavior of his sons. Pero él toleraba la comportancia terrible de sus hijos. And so therefore God was going to deal with all three of them. Así que Dios iba a tratar con los tres. And you know the story, the two sons died in battle. Y saben la historia que los dos hijos se murieron en batalla. And then when they came and told Eli that his sons were killed. Y cuando le vinieron a decir a Eli que sus hijos estaban muertos. Eli was sitting on a rock. Él estaba sentado en la piedra. And he fell off and broke his neck. Y se cayó y se quebró su pescuezo. And so God dealt with him just like he told Samuel in the vision. Y Dios trató con ellos como le había dicho a Samuel en la visión. In Isaiah chapter 1. En Isaías 1. Verse 1. Versículo 1. It tells us. Well, I'm going to speed up a little bit. Dice, le voy a dar, le voy a dar prisa. We're not going to read this. Dice, no lo vamos a leer. It, it starts off by saying the vision of Isaiah. Comienza, the son of Amos. Comienza diciendo la visión de Isaías, hijo de Amos. And pretty much for the whole book of the 66 chapters of Isaiah. Y casi por todo el libro, los 16 capítulos de Isaías. Pretty much is made up of these visions. Dice, están hechos de estas visiones. Ah. Uh, in Ezekiel. In Ezekiel. We find that he had a lot of visions. Vemos que también tenía bastantes visiones. Especially that. Wheel within a wheel vision. Especialmente la visión de una llanta de entre otra llanta. And then that really great vision when, y well, lo, it was kind of sad. Y luego la gran visión que era poco triste. When, when God took Ezekiel to the temple. Que Dios llevó Ezequiel al templo. And he showed Ezekiel the terrible things that was going on there. Y le enseñó las cosas terribles que estaban pasando allí. The men that were supposed to be the God's priest. Los hombres que debían de haber sido los... Uh, Los sacerdotes were simply worship, were secretly worshiping idols. Estaban adorando secretamente a ídolos. And then God showed Ezekiel something tremendous. Y Dios le enseñó algo tremendo a Ezequiel. But sad. Pero triste. 
Ezekiel saw the Spirit of God get up Ezequiel, out of the temple. Ezekiel miró el Espíritu de Dios que se salió del templo. And go out and sit on the gate. Y se sentó en, en, en la puerta. And then after a while he went out and saw the Spirit of God leave the gate. Y después de rato miró que se salió de ahí y se and, fue. And go out and sit on the mountain. Y se, cerró, se sentó en la montaña. And God was basically showing Ezekiel. Básicamente Dios le estaba enseñando a Ezequiel. Because Jerusalem has turned so bad. Porque Jerusalén se ha hecho tan mal. Now listen to this and apply it to your, to our personal lives. Oigan esto y aplíquenlo a las vidas personales. Because if Jerusalem had turned so bad and turned against God. Porque Jerusalén se había volteado así contra Dios. God says, I'm going to turn my back on Jerusalem. Y Dios dijo, yo le voy a dar mi espalda a Jerusalén. And I'm going to let old King Nebuchadnezzar come up there and destroy you. Y voy a dejar que el rey venga y te destruyan. And King Nebuchadnezzar did come and destroy them. Y el rey se vino y los destruyó. That was before King Nebuchadnezzar got right with God. Esto antes que este rey se pusiera bien con Dios. God spoke to Cain. Dios habló a Cain. But it was not in a vision or a dream. Pero no en visión o en sueño. But he spoke to him as the, as the Lord God. Pero le habló como el, como el Señor Dios. What did he say to Cain? ¿Qué le dijo Cain? Now remember Cain was mad at his brother, right? Recuerden que Cain estaba enojado con su hermano. Cain and Abel. Cain was the first boy, first birth in the entire world. Abel was the second. Cain fue el primer nacido en todo el mundo y Abel fue el segundo. What did God say to Cain? ¿Y qué le dijo Dios a Cain? All right. He says, Cain, the sin is at the door. Dijo, dijo Cain, dijo, el pecado está en la puerta. What's he talking about? ¿Qué le está diciendo? The anger that Cain had against Abel. La ira o el enojo que le tenía Cain a Abel. Which caused him to ignore God. Que le causaba que ignorara a Dios. And go out and kill his brother. Y salió y mató a su hermano. And you see, God warns people as well as encourages people in these visions and dreams. Dios te avisa y al mismo tiempo te anima en estos sueños. But we've run short of time. Pero se nos acabó el tiempo. We find the expression, the word of the Lord. Miramos la expresión, la palabra del Señor. More than 50 times. Más de 50 veces. Is, uh, uh, excuse me, the word of the Lord came unto me saying. La palabra del Señor vino a mí diciendo. More than 50 times in Jeremiah. Más de 50 veces en Jeremías. And even more times in Ezekiel. Y más veces en Ezekiel. And we find it several times in the other prophets. Y lo miramos varias veces en los, en otro, en los otros profetas. And it's interesting, the, the visions of Zechariah. Y es interesante que las visiones de Zacarías. Are not called visions anywhere. Y no son llamadas visiones en ninguna parte. It just says the word of the Lord came unto Zechariah. Nomás dice la palabra del Señor vino así a Zacarías. I want to point out one more thing to you. Quiero tener apunto una cosa más. I just realized that this week. Acabo de reconocer esto esta semana. I sort of known it, but it just hadn't dawned on me. Lo de, más bien lo pensaba, pero no no lo reconocía. Now I personally believe that Genesis chapter one. Yo personalmente pienso que Génesis uno goes all the way through Genesis two verse three. Llega al al dos uno. And at that uno. at that point we should start chapter two. En este tiempo debemos de comenzar capítulo 2. Because the first three verses of chapter 2. Los primeros tres versículos de capítulo 2. Really go with the story of creation. Va con la historia de la creación. In Genesis chapter 1 through chapter 2 verse 3. Del 1, Genesis 1 al 3. We find the name of God, Elohim. Miramos el nombre de Dios, Elohim. And it's a plural word. Y es una palabra plural. It's found 32 times hemos visto 32 veces in this passage of scripture. En este pasaje de escritura. Now, why did I point out that it's a plural word? Porque yo, ¿por qué digo yo, o traigo a punto que es plural? Because God is more than one. Porque Dios es más que uno. He's God in three persons. Es Dios en tres personas. God the Father. Dios Padre. God the Son. Dios Hijo. And God the Holy Spirit. Y Dios Espíritu Santo. And all three of them were there at creation. Y los tres estaban ahí en la creación. When God got ready to create man, cuando Dios estaba listo para crear al hombre, he said, let us, dijo, hay que, dijo, vamos a nosotros, create God in our image. Criar al hombre en la imagen de nosotros. You said God. God, huh? You said God. Create God in our image. Oh, excuse me. All right. That's, what you're, that's what you're up here I for. Fixed it already. <laughs> okay, you, you fixed it. All right. Yes. You're the fixer. Yes. <laughs> 
But then in chapter 2, we don't find the word Elohim. Ya no vemos el nombre Elohim. We find the Lord God. Vemos el Señor Dios. Yeah, that's right. Lord, yeah, Lord God. Mm. And uh, it, it's a different name. Es un nombre diferente. Because it has a different purpose, I guess. Porque tiene, yo creo, un diferente propósito. If you ever want to do something really interesting, si quieres hacer algo bien interesante, go through and try to find out how many names in Scripture God has. Carlos, figurar cuántos nombres en la Escritura tiene Dios. There's a lot of them. Hay, hay varios, muchos. More than you think. <laughs> Más que lo que ustedes piensan. And it makes a very interesting study. Y es un estudio bien interesante. But uh, it takes some serious studying to figure them out. Pero se lleva algo serio. Well, we, we, serio. we need to quote. Let me let me point out the. Uh, my application down here. Quiero traer a punto la aplicación. Conclusion. Conclusion. All these revelations are basically the same. Todas estas revelaciones básicamente son igual. Dreams, visions, the word of the Lord. Sueños, visiones, la palabra de Dios. Or however God makes his appearance. O de cualquier manera que Dios haga su apariencia. They are or God's intervening into the affairs of man. Dios está interviniendo en los uh, trabajos del hombre. Now there's one really, really interesting appearance. Hay uno que una apariencia bien interesante. In chapter, in Genesis chapter 11, verse 15. In Genesis, excuse 11, me, verse 5. 11, 5. Something was going on that God didn't like. Estaba pasando algo que Dios no le gustaba. Men had decided to build this tower. La gente había decidido hacer esta torre. And they're going to build it, they thought, all the way to heaven. Now, that's what I call ambition. They had no idea how far away heaven was. But anyway, they were going to build this tower. And God says this. Let us go down and see this tower that these men are building. And so God came down. Dios vino. To look at the tower. Para ver la torre. And uh, he fixed those workers. Y, y él compuso a estos trabajadores. Some of them came away speaking Spanish. Unos salieron hablando español. Some of them spoke English. Otros inglés. Some of them spoke Hebrew. Otros hebreo. Some of them spoke Greek. Otros griego. They just spoke all kinds of different languages. So if you wonder why we've got all these different languages today, who's, whose fault is it? What, what's the man's name? Who? Nimrod. Nimrod is the guy who's at fault for all these different languages. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't need an interpreter. Si no ha sido por eso, yo no tuviera que estar acá arriba ahorita. And then you wouldn't be here to help me. That's right. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. Here's my application. Aquí está la aplicación. How are we going to respond to any of these revelations that God has made to us? ¿Cómo vamos nosotros a responder a cualquier revelación que Dios nos ha hecho a nosotros? You say, well, I haven't had any dreams or visions. Pues vamos a decir, yo no he tenido sueños o visiones. This sad. Is that all right, honey? Yeah. How are you going to respond to what God has to say here? ¿Cómo vas a responder a lo que Dios ha dicho en su palabra? I know we're over time. Yo sé que ya se me pasó el tiempo. But you realize that if you've accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, Pero si reconoces que has si has aceptado a Jesucristo como you, tu Salvador, you don't have to worry about all the laws in this book. No te tienes que mortificar de todas las leyes que están en este libro. The laws in this book condemn you. Las leyes en este libro te condenan. Thou shalt not steal. No debes de robar. Thou shalt not kill. No debes de matar. Thou shalt not tell lies. No debes de, de echar mentiras. All these thou shalt not. Todas estas cosas que no debes. If you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Si no has aceptado a Jesucristo como tu Salvador. You're going to have to answer for all of them. Vas a tener que responder a todas. But if you've accepted the Lord. Pero si tú has aceptado al Señor. You will not be judged by them. No vas a ser juzgado por estas leyes. Because Jesus was judged for these things on the cross. Porque Jesús fue juzgado por estas leyes en la cruz. And all who have accepted Christ as personal Lord and Savior. Y todos los que han aceptado a Cristo como Salvador. Get a free ride. Tienen una. A free pass or whatever. Una pase gratis.
when you used to play Monopoly and you got a, a free pass to go past the jail, cuando, right? Cuando jugabas este juego de Man Monopoly y te daban una... Te yeah, que, get out of jail free. O sea, tenías, <laughs> tenías una tarjeta para salir de la cárcel gratis. Believers will not be judged for a single sin. Los creyentes no van a ser juzgados por ni un solo pecado. They will only be judged for what have they done with what God gave them. Vas a ser juzgado por las cosas que Dios te ha dado. And if you don't know about that, you should have been here the first hour this morning. Y si no sabes esto, hubiera estado aquí la primera hora esta mañana. Because Eddie talked about that this morning. Porque de esto habló Eddie esta mañana. Okay, let's stand. We'll be dismissed. De pie para ser despedidos. And I'm going to ask you to dismiss him. Okay. Dios gracias. Um, Lord, thank you for, for what uh, we just heard, Lord. And I always pray that um, you give us the heart and the mind um, to see the application, not only see it, Lord, uh, to do it and um, to live, um, try to live as much as possible a, a, a righteous life, Lord, that uh, others can see and um, want uh, uh, to share what we have in you as well. Lord, uh, thank you for this time, everybody here this morning. Just pray a blessing on all, Lord, and pray for your direction. In Jesus' name.